to the first day of the semester for many of you, unless you had a Saturday class. Uh, this is Chem 400, and it's our intro video, and this is my second attempt, take two. Uh, I, too, still have coffee, big fan of coffee. You should know that green is my favorite color. I have a green shirt today and a green pen. Um, but let's get down to business. So for your first day uh, tomorrow, um, you need to have the lecture outlines printed out, and you need to start watching the lecture videos. The first set of lecture outlines is due on Wednesday the 26th. Yes, that's the 26th. Uh, by 11.59 p.m. They must be uh, complete. There are three ways that I've talked to students or emailed to students uh, about how to do that. First, you can print out the lecture outline and then watch the lecture videos and fill in the lecture outlines with the notes from the lecture videos while you watch them. Two, you can uh, do the same thing except on an iPad, meaning write onto your iPad and um, then uh, cre recreate the notes so you'll have my lecture notes from the lecture outlines and your notes from watching the lecture videos. And the third way of doing it is go ahead and write everything, meaning write out the, my notes as they are on the lecture outlines on separate pieces of paper then add the notes from the lecture videos. And um, because the goal is that no matter what, no matter how you do it, you end up with a complete set of lecture notes so that you can use them to study for exams. You can use them to help you with homework problems. Uh, and um, just writing the notes, I think, is a useful tool for many, though not all, I know. So that's the uh, first thing I want to talk about. I've been getting a lot of questions about that. I'm open to other ways of doing it too. Just uh, email me or see me in office hours. Next thing I wanna talk about is the labware kits. Um, so once you're in the class, you should get the labware kit. Uh, I've asked for you to take a picture of your labware kit um, with uh, the scale and the pH tester and the uh, temperature probe that is also a total dissolved solids or TDS tester. Um, and uh, that's supposed to be done by this Saturday. Lab doesn't start this week, but um, the following week it will start. So uh, some students, uh, some faculty actually have told me that some of the options on Amazon are out. Uh, if you uh, find that, then look around for other options. The key thing, and this is just for the labware kit of plastic um, beakers, graduated cylinders, and pipettes. You may have to buy uh, two different um, sets of labware. So I've seen some kits that have beakers and plastic pipettes, also called plastic droppers. Make sure they can hold at least two, but not more than three milliliters with their markings. Uh, sometimes you can get the graduated cylinders separately. I've seen a bunch of different options. If you have any questions about that, just let me know. Uh, send me an email with a link and I'll uh, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, as far as if I think it'll be useful. But hopefully you've found that already and hopefully you've got them, especially if you're registered for the class. Last note I wanted to say, say speaking of registration for the class, is that uh, today is the day by which you have to contact me if you're registered to stay in the class by 11.59 p.m. tonight. And if you don't, then starting tomorrow morning, I will drop you to make way for uh, people from the wait list. Uh, there will be a couple people from the waitlist, I imagine, getting in. Uh, all details to be confirmed tomorrow morning. And by tomorrow, uh, hopefully by 9 or 10 a.m., you will know whether or not you're in the class if you're on the waitlist. Uh, same thing for waitlist people, too. They have to uh, log in or access, I guess is a better word, the CAM 400 Canvas site. I'll be able to see that. If you have any questions, either way, registered or waitlisted, send me an email, too. Uh, just as backup, but I think a lot of people have already done this and everything's fine. Uh, if you have any questions, send me an email. Uh, I will get back to you within 48 hours and hopefully sooner than that, uh, almost always, especially Monday through Friday. All right.